What's up, man? How are you doing today? Doing good, thanks. Who are you? I'm Matt Farnsworth. I'm the director of The Orphan Killer. And what are you doing here? We're here uh, bringing our movie The Orphan Killer to fans of horror and uh, introducing them to what The Orphan Killer is, what it's all about. And what is it all about? Well, it's a very popular new iconic horror film that uh, grew to fame on Facebook very quickly and uh, exploded worldwide, went to Sitges Film Festival, was honored there, San Sebastian, all over Europe, and uh, quickly became on the cover of all the magazines, the, the big time magazines in the uh, UK, like Shock Horror Magazine, The Orphan Killer's on the cover of that. Rob Zombie was actually on the cover of this magazine prior to The Orphan Killer, and it didn't sell out actually, but it did in pre-sale with The Orphan Killer on the cover, so it's a very successful horror property right now. And uh, we're lucky enough to come here and be able to talk to fans now in the U.S. with the movie and introduce them to it. And uh, it's a really nice film, actually. It's a, it's a, a brutal movie, actually. It's a, a band film in, uh, in Germany now. I, this is the Blu-ray and uh, comes with a soundtrack as well. And the uh, soundtrack is really great. It features bands like Asking Alexandria, Born of Osiris, First Blood, A New Revolution, Exception of a Ghost. Just really awesome bands. And, uh, Sumerian Records. Yeah, it's uh, them and also um, a great company called Bullet Tooth in uh, Jersey. Yep. Uh, Josh, great guy there. Totally. X, uh, not e Equal Vision, no, not Equal Vision. Um, oh, he, what label was that? I know who you're talking about. Totally. Uh, Trustkill? Trustkill. Uh, that's it. That, that's who they were. I think they're now yep. just Bullet, Bullet Tooth. They're rad and they've really helped put the, the soundtrack together. And uh, the film was actually just banned in Germany. I got a letter from the German government. It said, uh, your film is youth endangering and uh, you're not allowed to uh, sell it here. So that was an interesting coup. I actually liked the fact that it was banned there. And uh, just like, you know, Texas Chainsaw was banned there and Cannibal Holocaust. So it's been a really good run. Diane, the ultra attractive. Diane, please. Say hi. Take care. Say hi to the camera there. Hi, guys. This is Diane. Uh, she stars in the film, and uh, she helped me produce the movie. I shot most of it, and uh, we're bringing it out to fans ourselves. We had offers from studios and stuff, but we're trying to keep it ourselves and bring it out to fans directly. Uh, you can get it at uh, theorphankillerstore.com. It's a really nice-looking store, really cheap shipping, and it's all region-free. So all the discs, they ship worldwide. So, and they play worldwide, so you can pick it up. And they all come with a soundtrack. We've got some awesome masks, too, that are really flying off the shelf. <laughs> Fans are picking these up real quick. These are designed by uh, Tony Zagone. <laughs> it's Zagone Studios in Chicago. He's a famous mask maker there in Chicago, and I was lucky enough to hook up with him, and he wanted to do, like, recreate the mask, so it was cut from the mold the Orphan Killer wore in the film. So we sent him a, a master of the mask that Marcus wore, and he actually cut the mold from the original. So it's a classic item, man. People love that. Right on. Yeah. Excellent for people to pick up and uh, hold on to a nice little piece of history also. Yeah, well, you know, now that it's a banned film and everything, it's very, very popular. And so, you know, people really want it. They want that icon. And you know how collectors of horror are. We're very lucky that there's such great fans in this genre. And we're hoping to make another film. So if you can support it, that's really great. Because we'll definitely take all that money that we get and we're putting it right into the other projects we make that are all Orphan Killer related. Next sequel, it's uh, TOK2, Bound by Blood. So definitely pick it up and uh, check it out. It's a really uh, fun film. All practical effects. There's no CGI in this film. It is all old school, Tom Savini style, blood flowing everywhere. You got any last words for everybody then? Have a bloody day. <laughs>